designed the world in eons, ages, periods. The Bible tells us that by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. The word they are used for worlds is eons. That the eons were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not brought by the things which do appear. This is very important. Everything you see is not made by things which do appear. That's generically known by every Christian. But there he is the word, we understand that the world, this is an understanding. It's not a place of knowledge only. It's an understanding. It's foundational. That the worlds, the word there is eons, were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made by the things which do appear. That means the things which do appear were made by things which are not seen and the things which are not seen are made by the word of God which word of God is framed in eons, in ages, in worlds. Ah, everything you see is not made by something that you see. It's made by something you don't see. Are we following? And the things you don't see are framed by the word of God. And the word of God has been designed to work and function in eons, in worlds. Let me explain what an eon is to make sense. If you're driving around the street and then you find a man half naked you'd be right to say that man is in his own world that means where he is in life does not subscribe to how you view the world your world you'd say that man is mad that's a mad person when somebody is mentally disturbed or they're dealing with you know manic depression all these things they tend to hear voices you don't hear they tend to see people you don't see because they are in a world you are not. You understand? When a prophet goes in the spirit, he's in a world normal people are not. And in that world, defines the realities of his perceived truth. Now, there's a man right now who can wake up tomorrow morning and say, I'm going to make a million dollars today. He exists in the same world another man is going to wake up tomorrow morning and say where am i going to get the rent for the landlord these are two people in the same earth the bible says that the earth was created for the profit of all but there is a man who is looking for rent and there's a man on the same earth going to get a million dollars paid on his account why because they live in two different worlds genetically speaking the word there would be eons they live, live live in different eons but in the same cosmos now god by design tells you that i walk through worlds i design everything through worlds the word in its liberties is expressed through the world you are able to connect to and then when you are able to connect to that world then the word of God applies itself according to the world of your vision. Then it starts to create. That's the law of translation. It starts to create. To manifest in the physical realm. Of the world you have seen. That is why you never underestimate the power of expectation. I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to make you prosper and not to work to harm you plans to give you a future a hope last sentence to give you an expected end god plans according to your expectation he didn't say to give you my his expected end he said i will give you an expected end your expected end so every man has a definition according to the eon the world they are functioning in and god says i will not work beyond that which you are able to expect because my word 
works according to the world where you are. I was with 50, 50 young people in a borrowed building, borrowed chairs, and I got a vision. Not a vision that came to me, but a vision that was designed by my understanding of God. You know there's a difference. There are visions that come to you and there are visions that you design by your understanding. And I told these young men, I told them, we are going on TBN. 50. No machines, no camera, no piano, no choir, no drums. And they clapped their hands. Four years later, TBN called International and said, we must put you on our television set at any cost. That in my nation had never happened. I knew that that door had opened. God TV came, it put me on. TBN Europe came, it put me on. I just signed a contract of Esther Europe. <laughs> Glory to God! We are going places they never thought African men would go. From Africa to the world. And this is just the beginning. Shut someone and tell him what eye has not seen. What ear has not heard. God has prepared for you. Oh, come on. Slap yourself. God doesn't need a week. He doesn't need a month. He, he just needs you to capture something in your spirit. Because of your understanding. I hope you understand that with God. Things are possible. Somebody shout amen. You just need to believe.